Welcome to another episode on Jai's TV. Salute, salute, and love, blessings, peace, and Rastafari to all. I want to definitely give thanks to everybody for tuning in to Jai's TV. Be quick to click that like button, share, subscribe. And make sure you hit that bell when you walk in. Very important. You know, we're going to be talking about, our, uh, you know, our beautiful women, the queens. Because without y'all, there is no us. We can't be in this world without women. You know, we don't have no women. You know, we can't have no, no, uh, uh, no babies being born. You know, that's like me. I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you if it wasn't for my moms. And um, and if it wasn't for my children's mothers, I wouldn't have no kids. So, you know, I'm always going to honor the, 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 the queens, the empresses, and, and, and continue to just show love. And, you know, I acknowledge the work and, and the hard work you, you women put in every day, you know, going out there grinding and just like the men, you know, you have many ways of getting money. You hustle and you do whatever it is to put food on your table and to feed your family. And that has to be honored and respected. So I'm going to be one of the people who give you your flowers. This, You know, it, it was heavy on my mind and heart to really just touch on this topic, you know, because uh, a lot of females, you know, they, they, they want a bag, but some want that big bag and they want it fast. So it's like them meeting a the guy and a guy willing to fly them out to another state or another country. And they know that it's, an, it's, it's a bag possibly waiting on the other end. All they got to do is get on that plane and get there. You know, y'all got to be careful because a lot of women, girls, who got on those planes to take those trips to meet up with dudes that they really didn't know or didn't know at all because they was chasing the bag, a lot of them didn't return. You know, their mothers and fathers is, and their kids is, is left, you know, without them because, they, because, you know, the women are chasing that bag. You know, every time they get on that plane to take that trip, they're at risk. Because they don't know. It could be a serial killer on the other end. Some type of psychopath on the other end. Waiting for them. In an alleged hotel or wherever. You know. So I'm just trying to. You know. Really. Send my. my you know. My prayers. And my thoughts out to the women out there. So that they can start really. Understanding that. I respect the hustle. I respect the grind. But you know. Please be careful out there. You know, even when the strippers is, is doing their thing, I respect the strippers and, 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 and what they're doing and how they're hustling because who, who who are we in society to knock them for doing what, doing what they got to do? I don't look down upon them just like I don't look down upon nobody that's doing any kind of hustle. It's just that you have to be doing what you need to be doing, but you have to do it the right way and be careful. Society is not going to, um, not just society, but the powers that be is not going to just start knocking on people's doors, just giving out money. So I understand people got to make um, ends meet. That's why when I, you know, when I see little kids and everything out uh, um, on a train or, or in the street selling little candies and stuff like that, I always, you know, get them. Even if I don't want it, I still buy it because I'd rather them do that. Than to be out here stealing and robbing people. But I, you know, I definitely want the, the, the women to definitely be careful because, you know, just looking into all the different missing women and stuff like that, all the women that were found dead, you know, bodies, you know, decompo decomposed, uh, some women. Years upon years, their, their bodies still never been found. So something like that I always think about. 
you know, and us as men, and we raising we we raising daughters, we gotta be mindful that we be better leaders. You know, uh, some of the women do need to step up at the same time, so that these young girls can 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 stop following that path. You know, some of the lyrics for you know certain songs and stuff like that. It's not helping. Some of these some of these young girls, they really want to live out those lyrics when they 15, 16 years old. You know, we definitely we in need of a whole lot more leadership, not just with, with, with the men out here, but we, we looking for, you know, more leaders in the women. So that these young girls can, can have better uh, 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 individuals to follow and give them an a, a, a opportunity to have a future. You know, don't forget to uh, uh, like, like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell because it's very important so that when whenever I drop a, a new video, you know, you'll get the notification. So hit that bell, subscribe, like, and share. You know, let the peoples know, you know, Jai's TV is definitely here. You know, it's time for the real to take over this internet thing. You know, it's too much faking, too much false, falsehood, too much, uh, 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 um, too much fronting going on and too much folly going on on the internet man it's time for the real to get up on here and really just push that push the envelope and, and give out that substance was known as Mercedes Moore on Instagram. Millions of people followed her, but police tell us it was inside her Richmond apartment behind me where she was found dead inside. On Instagram, she was known as Miss Mercedes Moore. Her adult content followed by 2.6 million people, including superstar Snoop Dogg and Megan Thee Stallion. Her real name was Janae Gagnier. The 33-year-old was found dead inside her upscale apartment in Richmond, Texas. Police say they were called to this quiet complex for a welfare check Sunday. Inside the apartment, they found Mercedes Moore and another man believed to be the suspect who killed her, Kevin Alexander Accordo. He was also dead, police calling it a murder-suicide. Investigators say there is no relationship between Mercedes and the suspect, telling us his last known address was in Florida. They Such a beautiful queen, life cut short because a sick man thought he had ownership over her and felt the need to strangle her to death. This sick individual had the audacity to write on her wall that he was used. And he also had the audacity to write on her wall. He wished that he never loved her. This was a sick man, a maniac, and there's many more. So ladies, beware. Subscribe. I repeat, subscribe, like, and share on YouTube. And follow on Instagram. And don't forget to hit that bell. Us men, we got to do a better job at protecting the women. Because we definitely, we've been doing a horrible job at that, man. You know, so many of them just, they out here by themselves and like, so many of them is feeling unsafe or whatever the case may be. At one time, you know, we definitely was doing a better job. I don't know what happened, man. It's like too much estrogen going on, you know what I mean? The, the testosterone is fucking... Is, is 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 somehow disappearing or something out of a lot of men. You know, it's not too many of us left. You know, you know, we only have a chosen few, and and it's terrible, and it's definitely noticeable. We need to step up in so many different ways. It's too many uh, uh, young girls and young women. You know. You know, chasing the bag and dying and. And they just, and then you, you know, a lot of kids is left without their mothers. You know, of course, us men, you know, the well, the, the people that I know, all my, all my comrades and, and um, and brothers, all of them are great fathers, and you know, we take pride in that. I don't, I don't allow dead beats around me. You know what I'm saying? That's period. If you're dead, but you can't even be around me. 
because I might slap the shit out you. You know, real talk. We don't do that. You know, shout out to all my peoples that take pride in, in fatherhood and, and being there for their kids and all that. But at the same time, we definitely can't replace the mothers, you know, that natural nurturing abilities that they have. So we got to do a better job at protecting them because when they get into that mode of, you know, by any means and they, they feel like they got to go and chase a bag, you know, some of them is losing their life. Real talk. With this page here, you're going to get a whole lot of different substance, man, because my shit, my shit just real. I believe in just putting out the, you know, it's like serving food. I want to give you all the stuff that's going to keep you healthy on my page. So make sure you subscribe to Giants TV. You know what I mean? Like, share, share to your peoples, co-workers, everybody. Let them tune in to this real shit. How ironic is this? I miss my baby. The mother of 23-year-old Lauren Smith Fields of Bridgeport says her family's world came crashing down 10 days ago when her daughter was found dead inside her apartment on Plymouth Street under what the family describes as mysterious circumstances. The medical examiner has not yet released the cause of death and investigators aren't commenting. Without a doubt, we know that my daughter was not a drug user and I had a second autopsy myself we paid out of pocket because we felt so uncomfortable with the way it was handled. It's Lauren. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Lauren was a familiar face to YouTube audiences. Her family says she had been a track star at Stanford High School and was now studying physical therapy at Norwalk Community College. A sweet child, they say, who had blossomed into a beautiful young woman who had the whole world at her feet. They say Lauren had met, quote, an older white man on the dating app Bumble, and it was he who alerted police to Lauren's death. The family says they are not satisfied with answers they got from an investigator. I asked him about the guy. He just made it seem like the guy was a nice guy. It was nothing to investigate. The only contact that we have had was from a very insensitive, condescending and arrogant detective. Lauren's dad reading a scathing statement saying police failed to extend the most basic courtesies and told his family to stop calling. She meets an old white man on a dating app and end up dead and there's no arrest made. And police refuse to investigate. There's some type of cover up. Who is this mysterious man? Time and time again, these things continue to happen. Missing body and no one has answered. In Queens, a triple shooting left a woman dead. She was a school safety agent. Her boyfriend and another woman were shot but survived. Police say the killer is the murdered woman's ex-boyfriend. While hanging out with her friend and her new boyfriend celebrating their birthdays, this school safety officer and Instagram model was allegedly gunned down by her ex-boyfriend. Some guys gotta understand, when it's over, it's over. Just let go and move on with your life. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so that when I drop a video, you'll be notified right away. Been there, done that. No fuck that. Let's get back. We going up, ain't no looking back. We going up, ain't no looking back. Been there.